This year's Indie Fringe Festival is just around the corner, and here to tell us all about it, we have Max McCreary joining us this morning. He is the Director of Audience Engagement for Indie Fringe. Max, thanks for joining us this of morning. Of course. Thank you, Jeremy. It is such a pleasure to be here. Well, we were just talking about how exciting this is. Just from the graphic alone, I'm just super excited about the festival. What are we in for this year that's going to be a bit different? Absolutely. Um, so, you know, here at Indie Fringe, we're really dedicated to providing uh, unique, thoughtful, and exciting theatrical experiences for the city. This year, it is larger than it has ever been um, since we returned from the pandemic uh, and we're bringing all new kinds of arts forms from all over the world including um, one of the things I'm really pumped about this year uh, we're back to being an international festival and we're bringing in aerial silks for the oh, first wow. time ever um, so there's really just a, a huge assortment of work creative work that's available to our audiences now you just can't tease us with that Max how many shows there are 70 unique shows that are going to be a part of the festival this year Oh my gosh, you said 70? Mm -hmm. 70 shows, 250 performances over an 11 day period. Jeez, so when it comes to that, what types of variety? I know you hinted at a couple already, I did. but I know there are a couple more. I did. I teased it aerial silks and circus just because I think that's a, a new, fun, and exciting thing that we don't get to see all of the time. Mm -hmm. But we do everything at Indie Fringe um, from magic and drag and burlesque to new plays and stand up comedy. Um, clowning, dance, right? The Indie Ballet participates with us as well as like small individual dance companies coming to us from all over. Now you just mentioned Indie Ballet, but what other venues can we expect to see shows? 100%. Yeah, so this year we're in six venues throughout the city. The festival historically has always been right on Mass Ave and four of our venues are right there. Uh, the Indie Fringe building at 719 East St. Clair Street is the heart of our festival. Um, that is where you'll see the Everwise stage uh, and the Indie Fringe Bazile Theater um, will be in the Circle City Industrial Complex for the first time, just a little bit north and Dance Kaleidoscope stage. The District Theater a little bit farther down south on Mass Ave and for the first time we've expanded into Fountain Fletcher neighborhood and we'll be at the White Rabbit Cabaret, sort of share the wealth with a couple different oh, wow. spaces in the city. And it's also nice to, you know, know people are able to identify with their own specific neighborhood in the city so you guys are expanding and giving more people ownership of this absolutely I think that's one of the pieces of the indie fringe story that we forget sometimes is that it was developed to draw cultural interest to the mass Ave cultural court wow Words are hard, folks. They are, the especially Mass this Ave, early in the morning. Right? <laughs> the Mass Ave Cultural Arts District. Um, and it was tremendously successful, right? Since our founding, we've returned nearly two and a half million dollars back to artists and pumped that into our creative economy. And that's been in this really specific area. So it's really exciting that we get to bring it to folks where they are in their neighborhoods and sort of share that experience. We are most certainly excited that you're doing just that. And I can't believe it's coming so soon. If you take a look at at your screen we do have a graphic with all the information that you need to know to attend like I said before can't believe it's here already August 15th to Sunday August 25th like you mentioned Max over 70 unique shows performing venues all across the city and tickets are available right now so where can people find those tickets you can find those tickets at indiefringe.org super quick and easy and we'll make it even easier for people who are just tuning in. We'll have all this information on the website. Max, thanks so much for stopping by this morning. 